So I wanted to introduce uh, this book by Lynn Margulis, the um, molecular biologist, called Acquiring Genomes, A Theory of the Origin of Species. And um, in this book, she argues um, not against Darwin's theory, but uh, she's trying to expand it um, to add uh, something to it, which she calls symbiogenesis. Uh, which for her is an explanation for speciation, which is lacking in Darwin's uh, theory, where you have random gene mutation and natural selection that supposedly gradually produces new species. Um, Margulis argues that there is no unambiguous documented evidence of speciation occurring gradually, uh, but to find speciation in nature, we have to look at symbiogenesis, which is, uh, well, the best known example is um, the formation of eukaryotic cells from uh, more primitive prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus, they have other organelles within their membrane, whereas prokaryotic cells are much simpler, the DNA floats around freely within the membrane. Um, and the theory is, and it's pretty well accepted now, is that um, eukaryotes developed by eating prokaryotes and instead of digesting them, developing a symbiotic relationship with them. So mitochondria is a typical example. They used to be a free-living organism swallowed that was swallowed by a larger organism and then became um, an organelle within that larger organism which helped it you know, by producing more energy for it. Um, so Margulis's basic idea is that new species arise when whole genomes are incorporated by other species. Uh, and you know this isn't to say that gradual change doesn't happen, it's just to say that that's not uh, a powerful enough force of change in order to actually give us full-blown speciation. Um, Margulis also argues briefly that um, the science of thermodynamics can help us understand how matter became living. Um, thermodynamics was developed to understand how heat can be converted into um, energy, usable energy for steam engines or other machines um, and you know there are two basic laws one is energy cannot be created or destroyed and the other is that um, energy in a closed system tends toward equilibrium tends toward entropy or loss of order um, and so after Darwin's theory was first formulated uh, many people thought that there was this contradiction between the tendency toward organization and complexity of the biosphere and the tendency towards disorganization um, and disorder and chaos in the physical world. Um, but we know now by applying thermodynamics to open systems that um, life is not a contradiction to these laws of thermodynamics, but in fact um, a living organism uh, produces more net entropy on a global scale than would a uh, planet be able to produce without any life. So in other words, locally, yeah, the organism is um, tending towards greater complexity, but that greater complexity acts as sort of, um, it reduces the gradient between energy uh, such that uh, it returns to equilibrium faster than it would in the absence of life. And if you think of this in terms of um, a tornado when the pressure gradient of the atmosphere is um, you know, severely uh, differentiated, the uh, tornado forms because it can rectify this separation in pressure faster than if it just occurred um, randomly without this more organized system to do it. And life is just a further extension of the same principle. Um, 
So it helps us bridge this gap between non-organic matter and organic living systems. So um, I definitely recommend this book. I mean, Marvelous isn't so much a critic of Darwin as she is of Neo-Darwinianism or Neo-Darwinism um, for many reasons that it, it kind of uh, singles out individuals um, and sees them as existing in a vacuum and kind of neglects the interrelation between communities of organisms. Um, and uh, it's a good modern approach to understanding evolution that uh, is essentially an update of um, evolutionary theory because, you know, Darwin's theory is 150 years old. We've made a lot of new discoveries that don't contradict Darwin but add to the picture uh, in significant ways. So uh, check out this book. It's excellent.